stroller. This little one prefers to walk. Where are we going, Munchkin? <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that she's walking. <laughs> Good morning! Happy Saturday morning to you guys. Well, I don't know what day it is of the week where you are, but today is Saturday and I decided to vlog because we're in London and I hardly ever vlog when I'm in London because I'm like, we're just doing nothing special, but actually it's these nothing special moments that are the most special ones. So I want to document them today and maybe tomorrow we'll see how long this vlog is. Lots of exciting things may be happening today, such as just having our friend UJ over. He's visiting us from Toronto. Alexi's walking now, guys, which is crazy. That's mainly why I wanted to vlog, because I'm like, I want to capture these very first few weeks of her walking, because she started walking when? Probably a little over two weeks ago now. And it's truly still so amazing. Every time I look at her, I'm like, wow, I cannot believe this is real. I just remember giving birth to her and like breastfeeding her for hours. And now she's walking. It's really bittersweet, but mostly sweet. And now we're just at the farmer's market. Well, we're late. We're so late. If you have a farmer's market near where you are, rule number one, come early. That's the best. That's where the market still has really good stuff. If you come at 11, like it is now probably 11.30, everything, all the good stuff is gone. What you are up above the sky so high. Funny fact about today, I literally had about five minutes to do my makeup. I set a timer on my phone for five minutes and I'm like, I can do this. I can finish my makeup in five minutes. And it felt like a minute and the timer went off and I was just finished doing my eyebrows. It takes me probably a really long time. It always feels like I do my makeup fast, but I think it realistically takes me about 15 minutes. So I didn't have time to do my eyes at all. I think that's what takes me the longest is my eyes, like doing my eyelashes, doing the eyeshadow, and then the rest takes me about seven, eight minutes. So makeup look of the day, very simple. I did some bronzer, blush, eyebrows, and a tiny bit of foundation. That's all I had time for, but it, it still took me more than five minutes. It took me about seven, eight minutes. Hi guys, Alexa. She stops on every single corner. <laughs> Everything is so exciting for her. Who is that? <laughs> what did you see, Alexa? <laughs> Hi, EJ. What are you hey. thinking about? I'm just thinking about Alexa. When I was a kid, the memories I have of like the times in cabs. They were always memorable, like yeah. times in the car. Out to the window, you were yeah. looking, and you were just like staring. I remember that too. Happy to be back in London? Yeah. I was not expecting it to be so cold, to be very honest. The UJ dresses like this one was like minus five in Canada. I, I don't. That's what I mean. I was not expecting it. It's, it's so cold. plus 15. <laughs> Woo! Oh, 
and smell the roses with that <laughs> hello hello interesting morning today Alex actually woke up pretty at a pretty good time she now wakes up around 6 6 30 and when she which is incredible, she used to wake up at 5. When she wakes up now, she doesn't really make a lot of sound, so she could just play in her bed for like 15-20 minutes. When we do hear her eventually, when she calls for us, we don't really know how long she's been awake. Anyways, long story short, she skipped her morning nap today. That's like such a parent talk, I realize right now. Those of you who don't have kids will be like, what are you talking about? Uh. But those of you who do have kids or are around kids, will understand that when you're a parent it's all about Naps. sleep you know if they don't get their sleep they're irritated they're having meltdown usually that's not the case Alexa yeah awesome. she usually does all her naps and she's usually great but at her age uh, babies or little humans shall I say go from two naps to one nap and she already has started sometimes dropping the second nap which is very exciting because we can have more of a life Yay. <laughs> we can be out for longer periods of time because she doesn't have oh. to sleep did you close your ears yes. hi anyways we decided to go to the playground i was gonna catch up on sleep and nap with her but since she didn't nap no nap for me didn't have time to do my makeup or anything but that's fine we'll see what this day holds for us today here they are she took you to the big one, big slide. Uh. Hi, Alexa. I'm back. Why? Because they're grateful. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He was responsible for lunch today. What did you make, Alex? I made sweet potatoes. I made a salad with tomatoes, beautiful tomatoes, cucumber, avocado, shallots. Alex is talking so quietly because Alex is sleeping now. <laughs> Am I talking quietly? Yeah, you are. You're not like fooling. Yeah, like, well, I guess it's just natural because that's what happens. You just put some sauerkraut out, special kind of baked smoked salmon. I don't know. It's like a hot smoked salmon. So it's, like, it's not like a regular smoked salmon. Beautiful sweet potatoes that are being baked right now. UJ is in the other room, actually. Hi, UJ. Hey. What are you doing? I'm just responding to an email. Okay, I don't want to interrupt you, but I want to ask you something when you're done. Okay. UJ on one side. Alex and Alexa on the other side. That's a massive swan. Alex is very excited to meet him. Hi. Wow, you're coming towards me. Oh my god, he's trying to like see if he can grab some food. We have no food in the stroller, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so UJ finished this email, but when he finished the email, Alexa woke up, so I couldn't ask him the question that I wanted to ask him. All right, for those of you who don't know UJ, um, UJ is a friend of ours, Alexa's and I. He's also a business partner of ours for Intelligent Change, so basically the business that does the, the journals, the five minute journal, the productivity planner, and many more other exciting things that are coming up. And uh, the question I wanted to ask you, UJ, is something to do with friendship because for those of you that don't know UJ, I'll tell you a little background of him. He moved to Canada from India when you were 16? 17. 17. All by himself. He didn't know a single person in Canada. And you basically lived there ever since and built up such a nice network of friends who became sort of your family because you didn't know anybody and you had zero family or friends there. One thing I really like about you, UJ, is how easily you make friends. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I personally am trying to learn because although I love people and I have a lot of acquaintances, I sort of still struggle to make friends, I'd mm. say. I don't know what it is. I still have, like, I'm working on it. I'm mm -hmm. trying to understand what it is, even in my personal life. Those of you who know me know I, I have a few really close friends, and that's about it. But I do love people, yeah, yeah. and I would like to make more friendships, so here's the question. Awesome. How, how do you make more friends? I think that's something a lot of people struggle with, especially yeah, nowadays. Absolutely. Because everybody's on social media. Mm -hmm. If you go anywhere, everyone's on their phones. Yeah. If you go to even an event where before it would be easier to network, now everybody Everybody's on their phones and you yeah. kind of feel inadequate sort of making social interaction you yeah. also go on your phone oh, for sure and then you miss that opportunity to make a friend yeah so I think the first thing is um, I'm really glad you asked that question if you search for something called the Harvard study it's the longest research that's mm -hmm. been done and they try to figure out what are the factors that cause human beings to have to, to live longer to mm -hmm. be happier to have more money like what is the thing yeah. And uh, they found out it was the strength and the depth of their close connections. Really? That one thing, even if you look at blue zones, the, the people yeah. that live the longest, yeah, yeah, centenarians, yeah. the one thing that's like, you know, that's really common among them, among others, mm -hmm. is community. Yeah. Is like a feeling of, of home, a feeling of safety around the people around them, and, and long, long term friendships. Mm -hmm. We're talking decades, right? 50, yeah. 60 plus years. Yeah. Um, so I think this is a really important question. It's a good question to go deep with. My hand is gonna get really tired, okay. so maybe we can sit down yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Let's do that. Or I can switch my hands. <laughs> By the way, look at this beautiful tree. Like the fall is coming. One, use your natural style. Ask questions, yeah. right? So one of the things, kind of, you guys know about me is like I really like to be present, right? So uh, I like to kind of, kind of communicate without phones or have have kind of periods of time with no phones. I have a very deep interest in making other people and myself better, mm -hmm. right? I think that's the first thing to figure out about yourself is what do you really care about? Mm -hmm. Likely gonna be caring about similar things. The thing that we all kind of connect on is self-awareness and self-improvement and making the world a better place. That's, that's the reason like our company exists, yeah. right? Like it's that's a huge- That's the reason we're friends probably exactly. in the first place. Exactly, huge, huge part of who we are is like, is stuff like that. Two, don't be afraid. So one of the things that, that when I came to Canada, I, I had zero friends, right? Like some really- Are you gonna say approach people? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, keep going. Is be okay having no friends. What I mean by that is be okay having no friends and aggressively pursue new friends. Mm -hmm. uh, when sometimes like people have friends that come from back in the day or university or this or that, where you might not have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. Right, but because you had you stayed in touch mm -hmm. for a long time yeah, yeah. and you stuff like that, obligated. you feel obligated to hang out with yeah, them in this I don't matter. Believe in that. If for that period of time, you will feel lonely because you won't have friends. So you have to maintain that pain, use that pain to find new people. You ask yourself, who are my people? Yeah. Like you, you know, you have this joke like yeah. between us. You have like my people, right? Like I have a certain group of friends and individuals with certain characteristics and interests and like love mm -hmm. that I instantly know this person is part of my people. And I instantly know there's gonna be a connection there because mm -hmm. I've done the work of self-introspection and finding out who I am. Find out new people, ask them yeah. questions, get yeah. curious, get interesting, get put yourself in a position where you can help them. A lot of the time, uh, I think a lot of the connections I make is I'm curious about a person yeah. and by my asking them questions, they realize things about themselves they've never thought about. So people who are interested in self-awareness and getting to know more about themselves, we're gonna have a connection. So exactly. that's, that's really important. Third, support. Support is the number one reason 
why friendships are lost. We all have ups and downs, everybody, right? Like I have, you have, like yeah. everybody here has, it doesn't matter where you are in life, it doesn't matter how fortunate or unfortunate you are, you have ups and downs in life. When someone's at a down, that's where trust is built. Mm -hmm. right? So if you can help someone through that transition process, you build a bond that's very close, very, mm -hmm. very powerful. In that situation, you want to make sure that you're giving the other person the benefit of the doubt. You're having a conversation ideally in person. You're touching yeah. the person. Communicating in a way that allows you to see you guys are on the same page. We're just after the same thing. Let's align on mm -hmm. how to do this. So here is going to be my next question. Yeah. is like, how do you approach people? Because I think that's the biggest struggle, let's say, I have or I know a lot of people have. Yeah. Actually going after new friends. Yeah. Like, how do so, you so, do So don't that? go after new friends. Go after your interests. I follow... The, the things I love. When you're having fun, yeah. you'll meet people. Not to get to know like, you know, who they are, what their hobbies are, but like who they are fundamentally inside. EJ's all about going deep, by the way. <laughs> right? He says, let's go deep diving. I'm like, what? <laughs> diving where? <laughs> no, I mean like conversation-wise. <laughs> all right, I think that's a lot to think about. Yeah, so, cool. boom. Thanks for sharing. My pleasure, thanks for asking. This is Alexa's dinner today. Chanel feeds herself by hand. And what are you having, Alexa? Today she's having, I slow roasted the cauliflower and there's a little bit of a bruise she felt today. Yeah, who's here? Alexa, who's here? That's you, Jay. Okay, so she's having avocado, green peas that I steamed and roasted cauliflower. Mm. Yummy. Not sure if you can tell, but it's getting dark. And it's kind of cold here. I don't know, this September in London, honestly, just feels like winter. I'm already wearing my winter coats and warm sweaters. So I was looking for like a million and one reason not to go running today, but I'm gonna go anyways, because it's so easy to find an excuse not to do something active. Let's go. Hello.